Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good everyone. Morning. What? Oh, good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> we're off to a late start on our day today, but we're going to continue the quest to find my father his favorite gun that he's been wanting for years now. And um, I guess that quest only consists of driving over to the Academy. But nonetheless, it makes for an exciting vlog, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh damn they got lean on tap <laughs> at the panera bread <laughs> pretty that's a bad angle oh no oh oh no <laughs> we decided to go to panera bread before going gun shopping because we're starving and so panera bread review you can do panera bread review the food review the food that we don't have here's here's what we have so far right there <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for numbers. <laughs> they say it's a panini. That's not a panini, right? It's a sandwich. Yeah. I have a steak sandwich. They lied to you. It's steak and white cheddar, and it's actually pretty damn good quality. And they put horseradish sauce on it. And now I get broccoli cheddar soup to dip it in. What did you get? A big ass bowl of soup. Big ass bowl of what? That's the squash soup, isn't it? The autumn squash soup. Yeah. It's delicious. I did not mean to order a bowl. I meant to get a cup. <laughs> well, you got a big ass bowl now. Yeah, I did. Mm. I don't think it's very hot. What kind of sandwich you got? Um, the ham and Swiss. Ham and Swiss. I have them put it on ciabatta bread so they can make it hot. Hey, that's ciabatta bread, right? Mm hmm. That's definitely not a panini. It still said panini though on the mm -hmm. description. They they won't fool me. So we didn't give ourselves enough time to go and get the gun. And I had an idea in order to promote this channel a little bit better, I think I'm gonna make that a video on my main channel and make that the primary topic of the video, buying my dad's dream gun. I think that helped promote this channel. So right now what we're gonna go do is we're gonna run to Walmart because we, we gotta get John some pajamas for school. He's wearing like holiday pajamas to school tomorrow. And then I'm gonna get some pickle supplies because I'm gonna make pickles to give to my family this weekend when we go visit them. I think that's a really good present because my pickles are amazing. I'm also gonna show you guys how to make it. Them, pickles, make good pickles. Kaylee likes my pickle. <laughs> we got a bunch of supplies to pickle. We'll go over that in a minute. I, I don't know how we accumulate dishes so fast. This is just from yesterday. Oh, I also got a new pot uh, that's s smaller than my gigantic pot, but big enough to sterilize some of the jars in for the canning. And you got John. I got John. He got a haircut. He looks, well, he did. There we go. He look like a real boy now. Now a little ragamuffin. Hello, everyone. We're going to make pickles now. First step, of course, is sterilizing the jars. We're going to use the oven method for sterilizing the jars, and we're going to boil the, the lids. When I say lids, I don't mean these guys, because these guys don't even touch the food, so you don't have to worry about them. First step, soapy hot water, wash the jars, wash the lids, and then you go into the sterilization process because you don't want there to be any bacteria on it whatsoever. That could just, you know, that could get into whatever you're pickling and give people Ebola and salmonella and botulism, big words. It'll give people big words. I think that's enough, I don't know. Oven 275, jars are going in for at least 20 minutes. The lids are going to boil for probably 15 to 20 minutes as well. I like to make pickles by sous viding them at 140 degrees for usually two and a half hours, which I totally stole that from Babish, but I don't think all of them are gonna fit in here. So I've just got a pot over here boiling or just getting heated up just in case that I'm gonna put the extras in to cook those. So there shouldn't be too much of a difference if we can get the temperature right between the two. Thank you. In the meantime, let's prepare what we're going to be putting in there. Hey! Yes. You definitely need a good bit of garlic, cauliflower of course. As far as spices go, I like to use crushed red pepper, whole black peppercorns, mustard seeds, bay leaves, whole cloves, whole allspice, and of course sriracha. If you're going to do pickles with these, I don't usually put dill 
into the sriracha but I'm also gonna make regular pickles tonight with everything you see here, some of them with, some of them without sriracha. But if you're gonna make pickles, regular pickles, you'll definitely need dill, of course, cucumbers. I like to keep them about this size because it fills up the jar really quick and you wanna be able to pack as many of them in there as possible. A little bit smaller than like golf ball size so you can pack as many of them in there as you want because if you take a whole, what would you call that, a floret? A floret? Like yes. One, yeah, a floret, mm -hmm. is it floret or floret? I'm not sure. Okay, a florette, if you take a whole florette, it's only it's gonna it's only gonna be like five of them that fills the whole damn jar up. So I like to break them down in the in the smaller parts. See, like that's all florette. That would fill up like four or five of those would fill up the entire jar. We don't want that. Did you know that one of the most wanted items at a homeless shelter is socks? Everyone's don everyone donates jackets and pants and shirts, but. They always forget about the socks. Homeless people need socks. So, you know, buy some socks this holiday season. Take it by your local homeless shelter. They'll really appreciate you. This video is sponsored by Yingling. Yingling, yeah, I'm looking at you, Yingling. I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'm looking at you, dick. Oh, it looks like slicing a brain in half. That's so cool. That's really neat. I've never done that before. That's, that's kind of neat. It's gonna make it easier to take them off though. Okay, so uh, life hack, we just discovered a life hack together. Slice it in half and it's way easier to pull these off instead of like exploding cauliflower pieces going everywhere. Life hacks! I'll just cut a florette into four pieces. You want it about that big. Slicing the pickles really doesn't matter. It's just however you want to. Sometimes I do little bite-sized pickles. Sometimes I do whole, whole slices. I think the majority of this one I'm gonna do right now though is make more bite-sized style. I think I got too many pickles. That might be enough. If we need more, we'll cut more. But it's time to start the canning process. <laughs> We're gonna let those cool down for a little bit because if you put cold brine in a hot glass, it's just gonna break it. We're gonna prepare the garlic since we're kind of waiting for everything to cool down. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned a long time ago. I'm gonna take one of these extra jars that I cleaned. I'm gonna put them in there. Put the lid on. <laughs> Might still need to do it to some of them. But, most of them shook them right out of their little, their little husk, their little garlic shell you might say. Usually I just buy these already peeled, but they didn't have any at the Harry Peter. First up, we need to make the brine. So you want one part vinegar to one part water, a cup of water, salt, and some sugar. You can look up recipes online to make brine. I just eyeball it. From what I understand, you just gotta put way more sugar than, uh, than salt in there. Grab a sterilized jar, put a little bit of mustard seed in it, some crushed pepper, a bay leaf or two, three or four whole cloves, some allspice berries, that's where a lot of the flavor comes from. And I usually do about two cloves of garlic, but I crush it just a little bit. And comes the cauliflower. You wanted to leave enough room in there so you can shake it around and get those spices everywhere. You don't want to pack them in there too tight because you want to be able to shake up all that seasoning in there. Put a hefty amount of sriracha. Add some brine. Get it all over the place. Put enough brine in there to leave about half an inch of air at the top. Screw it on there. Give it a good shake. Pop it in the sous vide for two hours and you have pickled sriracha cauliflower. Pickles! We gotta do pickles next. The seasoning is almost the same for the pickles. You take a sterilized jar, 
put some mustard seed in there. You stick a bay leaf in there. Three or four whole cloves. Some allspice berries. Some red pepper for heat. It's up to you. Some crushed just a little bit of garlic. And what we're gonna do different this time, though, is we're going to add fresh dill. Throw some fresh dill in there. And just like last time, we're gonna add pickles. Well, instead of cauliflower. And we're not gonna add sriracha. Unless you wanna make sriracha pickles. That would be cool. Tastes just as good. That a pickle was just a pickle. Yeah. I just didn't think about it. But I don't care for pickles when we go places. You hear that? If you have family members that don't like pickles, they will like these pickles. All right, and there we go. There's just the regular pickle method. You got the magic pickle. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that took forever, but we got them all done. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've made eleven jars. I think I think it's about even cauliflower to pickle ratio, but I'm happy with it. We're gonna leave those cooking for two and a half, three hours. Take them out, and I think they go in the fridge when they're done. I should probably know that. You might want to look that part up. But when they're good and sealed, the lid that's popped up right now will go and it'll suck down. And that's when you know it's sealed. And usually at that point, you can keep it at room temperature for up to a few months. This is the end of the video. This like, is the end. This is the end. Tomorrow, I'm going to start putting together the video of getting my dad's dream gun, which I'm going to put on the main channel to try and attract some more people over here because I like doing this a lot. Did we learn anything today? All spice is a pepper. <laughs> we had to make one one rod jar because our uh, our uncle Rod he cannot eat any kind of pepper, and it turns out all spice is actually a pepper. So we had to make one jar. We had to make one jar that didn't have any peppercorns, red pepper, sriracha, or all spice in it. And it's probably going to taste really lame, but he's going to be happy to get his own kind of pickle. And I feel really bad for him because I love hot stuff. I love anything pepper. He can't even eat like red pepper spice like like jalapenos he can't eat anything peppery here's to tomorrow thank you everyone for watching another one of my vlogs i've done three three days in a row now oh my god that's got to show you how much i like doing this to make it three days in a row and they're like 15 plus minutes long a piece anyways have a fantastic night everyone